All right, in this video, welcome back to the channel here in beautiful Croatia. I'm going to teach you three knots, which I think are really, really helpful if you can master these. Only three. It's the bowline, the round turn and two half hitches, and the clove hitch. And again, if you become proficient at doing these knots, what will that achieve you for you? The result you will get will be that you will have increased confidence, safety, so you'll have more fun when you're out on your boat, right? Obviously, the main focus is driving your boat and docking, la, 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 la. But then they reach a point where you've got to tie a knot. The boat's over the way there. They have all um, tied up to the buoys. Some of them have used bowlings to go onto the buoy. So all this kind of stuff, you know how to do this stuff is really helpful, right? So we'll go through them in the sequence, the bowling, round turn two half inches, and the clove hitch. So here's the bowling. So the easiest way, or the way that people get confused when they try and do this knot, is they forget which end is, is the uh, attached to whatever it is you're tying, whether it's a boat or a dinghy or, or whatever it is. So that, for the purposes of this demonstration, we'll say that's the bit that is attached to something, and this is the running end. So, I always use the same orientation. I'm going to tie around this cleat. I always come on from the left and come round to the right. And that way I don't get myself confused when I do the twisty bit. This is the way I learned to do this knot here in Croatia when I was 18 years old. And I've been doing it this way ever since and it works pretty well. Okay, so we've got our orientation. We're coming around the cleat. Point to note, we can't do the bowling if we're under load. There's no load on the uh, rope. Uh, that's when we'll use the round turn and two half hitches. And also we can't undo it under load. But it's a great, great knot. So here's the twisty bit. Here's how you'll get it right every time. If you maintain uh, orientation with the bit you're tied to, we come across, roll over, pull it up, and this bit will always be right. I'll try and demonstrate here. I'll finish the knot and then I'll demonstrate how it goes wrong. The knot then comes round the back, back through, and then pull from the bit that you're tying to, your boat, your tender, whatever it is, pull it like this and it locks up. Okay? That's your bowling. Let me show you or try and demonstrate how people often get confused when they fall out of orientation with the, the twisty bit. So how people sometimes get it wrong, I'll try and demonstrate. If we, if we kind of twist the wrong way, let me show you. It will look as though the knot is starting to form. We come up. Oops. Yeah, I've got my shower lid. The knot's starting to form. We go around the back, just as we did before. We come back through. We pull. Oh, look we didn't get the twisty bit right. So it's so important to get it right. So let me show you again, and then I'll show you an alternate method for the twisty bit. Lay across, coming in this direction, lay across, roll over, pull that up, round the back, back through, and you got it right. Let me show you another way of getting the twisty bit right every time. And this is useful if you're using bigger ropes, mooring ropes or something like that. So I've got the setup, it's always the same. I take my right hand and I flop. Look, I flop the twisty bit right there. And then we come through and complete the knot. I'll show you again. We've got the setup, we're around whatever it is we're tying. Yeah, let me get this rope to stay up here. So important to keep the orientation right so that you don't get confused when you do your twisty bit. Okay, here we go. Right hand comes over, flop. There it is. There's your twisty bit. And then you come up and complete the knot. Okay, so that's the bowling. Let me show you a great use for the bowling. Two great uses for the bowling, actually. One is to tie your bucket. At some point, you're going to need to throw some water around on the boat. You come over. There it is. Boom. Tied our bucket on. Look at that. And then, of course, the other great use is for your dinghy painter. In this case, I tie it on with a round turn and two half inches, but the bowline is great there as well.
All right, the next mud is the round turn and two half hitches. And for this one, I'm gonna use our dinghy for the demonstration because this is a knot that you can do under load, right? So here's the first bit, the round turn. And once I've got that, I can actually hold a lot of pull, okay? Obviously, there's not much in the dinghy right now, but you get the idea. So we can do this knot under load. There's the round turn. Here comes the first half hitch. There it is, one. And then continuing in the same direction, same direction of travel, we go into the second half hitch here. Okay, and then we'll pull it tight. So that's the round turn and two half hitches used to hold the dinghy or some other use where the rope is under load. And again, I can undo it under load which you can't do with a bowling, right? And here it comes under load. So let's show you that again. In fact, I'm gonna do it through this eye here, so it's possibly a little bit clearer. So here's your round turn. One. There's your round turn. It's a, it's a full round turn. And then here's one. Going in the same direction. Two half hitches. And there it is. So the third knot I'm going to show you is the clove hitch, and it's a great knot for tying fenders on. Let's demonstrate it first, and then we'll talk a little bit more about tying fenders on. So here it comes. We're coming over the top. We're going to go around. Watch this. We come back over the top, the other side of the main line, through, and pull tight. As long as it stays under load, it's a great knot. So that's the clove hitch. Let me show it to you again. Okay, so we come over the top, underneath to one side, back over the top to the other side, up through the gap. By the way, I have to hold a little tension here or it'll drop, and then through. So that's the clove hitch. If you want, for extra security, you can put another hitch on here if you're tying on a fender. And when on the subject of tying on fenders, I'll just show you a nice little tip here that I like to do, is I always use a stanchion. I tie the fender either side of the stanchion, watch. Here it comes, and then over here for the second part of the knot, and over here. And that just provides a little support to the fender so it's not sagging your uh, lifeline. So, that's the clove hitch. So there's your three knots, the bowline, the round turn and two half hitches, and the clove hitch. Why do we learn those? So that we're confident, safe, and have fun when you're out on your boat.